Good morning. So I'm out in my bushel garden today and I was going to give a little update on the massive growth that we've had over here the last week. Let me turn you around and show you what we got. So as you can see, the garden is thriving. I came out this morning and I did trim off, uh, I'm a picker, I trimmed off some some leaves that were kind of ugly looking and um, I, I always think it's just better for the growth of the plant in general to get those picked off. But I'll show you, so last week, um, here's one of the easiest gourds I have to get to. So this one here last week I was able to hold in uh, one hand and I don't think I'll be able to do that uh, this time. I was able to just cup it in my hand like this. So you can see that just one week of growth, um, how much this, uh, this gourd has grown. Um, I know that I had shown this specific gourd on a, my previous video. And let's go over here. Also, you could see that my runners are getting longer and my runners are shooting off more runners and it's just kind of going crazy. These are the other two that I know that I put on that video as well. And as you could see also, um, they're, they're really heavy. Uh, I would have a hard time picking them up just with one hand. Uh, well, I mean I could, but by the stem and I don't wanna break them. So these are doing really, really well. We've got lots of smaller ones on here. I know that we've got one, let's see. Okay, here's another one. So this is basically how I was able to hold them uh, last week, just by cupping them in my hand. And uh, we've got several on that size. And like I said, this, you can see this runner, this is one runner off my plant. And you can see that my one runner, there's it shooting off, it's shooting off there. So it's putting a lot more, um, still a lot more vines out. My little asparagus beans um, that were also voluntary are coming up. I guess I need to put a trellis over here. So um, anyways, just wanted to update and show what's going on in the gourd garden. One of the plants I wanted to talk about this morning was my loofah plant. Um, Lufa is something I started growing a few years back when I started doing the gourds as well. And um, it's just a really, really fun plant to watch grow. Um, a lot of people, okay, well maybe not a lot of people, maybe it was just me, had no idea how a Lufa sponge was grown. So um, it was really interesting to watch the whole process. And I will tell you that they have the most beautiful blooms um, that I've seen i mean they're gorgeous and went through the whole process and dried them and peeled them and it was just really cool so let me show you what i have growing right now right here is these are just my bell pepper plants that i have caged but up up this post that i have my lights on you will see way up there at the top is the uh the lufa flowers and i can't really get to them right now um, but once they start putting off, uh, the actual loofahs, um, I, I will be, I should not have any problem getting to them. And again, like I said, they are, these are just my outdoor lights. You can see that they're climbing and training. And here's some more training over, training up. Um, they like to climb and they're not they're not too overly heavy that you have to worry uh, about them doing damage like the gourd okay so i had to i had to pull my ladder out to do this but i just wanted to show oh i hear a bee just how beautiful there are let's see two blooms on here and as you can see we've got a little friend buzzing around pollinating here he comes and he's just gonna go ahead and pollinate this for me um, 
while I'm holding it in this perfect position for him, I suppose. I'm not a bee charmer. <laughs> I swear. So, anyways, there's the blooms for the, um, for the loofah. And up here, they seem to have gotten all up in my peach tree. Um, so they're all kind of sitting on top of there. And there he goes, busy little bee. And he's going to continue to pollinate that. Now let me see if I can find any gourds started. Let me look. Hold on one second. Okay, I know it may be a little hard to see. I'm going to try to get it in focus. Okay, so the long area right here, you'll see that is actually, that will be a female bloom. So you could see how the other, these blooms coming are very short to the stem. And this one here is longer that's going to be a female bloom with a uh, with a gourd behind it so it's hard to believe that this little tip sized little bloom is going to become a whole loofah but um, they're still kind of hard to find right now all I have for today um, I'll do another video in a week or two and show the progress on those bushel gourds. It's, they grow so fast and I'm really excited to see um, how big we can get the gourds this year because um, I'm really wanting to do that pennant uh, lampshade. So maybe by next video I'll have my other uh, birdhouse gourd uh, painted. <laughs> I can't draw. It's so stressful. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, till next time.